Okay, I'm just like sick nervous to even show you this. This is a book armoire that we have in the house. It's been many things over the year. Currently, it's nothing. But we're going to empty this and see what we can do to uh, make better use of it. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous. Oh, Lord, help us. It's just a mishmash of anything you can stuff in there. We've got light bulbs, books, hats, crap, probably garbage, electronics, wipes, furniture moving stuff, tripods, wrapping, teapots, books, 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 books. Crazy, craziness. Okay, I'm gonna get all this out of here and go from there. And I am totally inspired from a video that I watched this morning. I told you I had one that looked just like yours. The creator of the collaboration decided to use a book shelf as well. And it really inspired me to get my butt up out of bed and just do it. Let's just do this thing. Look right here. Our visitors passes into labor and delivery when our first grandbaby was born. Is that not just the sweetest thing yet? I never did anything with them. They've been sitting in here since 2014. Literally stuck to the wall. 2014. I don't know what that says about me. I found a bag full of CDs. Never opened. George Strait. Somebody I don't know. Um, Pentatonics acapella group and of course hello pretty face right there pretty face boy right there never even opened that is just pitiful a gift that I was supposed to mail out months ago for a friend who was having surgery here it sits never done I'm a terrible person this is years and years and years. Oh, actually, this is not. I'll show you that in a minute. Of collecting um, menus from every restaurant around. And nobody looks at menus anymore because they're all online. Look, we don't even have this restaurant anymore. This restaurant closed down in our town taking up space and we don't even have one. What a disaster. Cheesecake Factory, I guarantee you that's updated. You know that if you ask for the menu, they'll give it to you. Oh, just menu after menu. Oh dear goodness, old, old church book. I wonder if we can see anybody in here. Oh, there's my in-laws. There's Tom's parents right there. Funny, funny. There's my sister Rhonda. Boy, she don't look like that no more. This one. It's my cousin Tracy and my cousin Rick and their kids. My Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob. Oh, there's my mom and dad. So I'm guessing we didn't go to this church at that time. There was a time we went to a different church. Man, I miss them. This is an evangel that we get at our church every week. And it was the Mother's Day edition of whatever year it was. This little saying, In God's Perfect Time, prompted me to write one of my very first songs called, oddly enough, not really that old, In God's Perfect Time. So I can't get rid of that. That's a keepsake for sure. Okay, so we're empty. There it all is empty. I had honey drill holes in the back of this cabinet years ago, and it looks like one hole just happened to want to be there <laughs> so that I could put lights in here. I told you, this cabinet has been many, many, many things. One time it held my TV. My TV used to set up in there. So... 
it has many lives. Matter of fact, we bought it from an auction. It was destroyed when we got it. We bleached the crap out of it. I mean, bleached, bleached, bleached it, poured bleach all over it and let it sit out in my garage for a week. Cleaned up beautifully, never had any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some wood cleaner. The Method Wood for Good Daily Clean in the Almond Scent. As if you follow me, um, you'll know that it's in a project pan collab and our first update is coming up into this week and I'm, I've used that much. So I'm, good, I'm happy with the progress, but I'm betting I'm gonna get a little bit more progress out of it today. So this is what I'm using. I'm gonna clean this and then head out to work. Okay, so here is what came out of it. All of these books were in that case. Now I have already decluttered, I believe about 1200 books. This is what I have left. For those of you that don't know me or you're new to this channel because of the declutter video, um, I went blind a couple of years ago and I have not read one book in two years. So I am legally blind, but I just had surgery a couple of weeks ago and I'm hoping to get back to it. If this surgery did not work, I will have to rethink and do something different. And I've destroyed my living room. So there's a box of just random stuff that was in there I have to go through. Here's some photo albums that will load this up and stick it out with the storage stuff. This full set of Gilmore Girls was in there. Um, I might watch that this fall. I might leave this out, obviously not on my TV stand, but I might watch those. All of our baby books and resumes and graduation stuff is on this little table. This is the stuff that was in the container. It basically destroyed my living room. Uh, that are my That is my husband's stuff that he'll have to go through along with all of those um, menus. I don't know what we'll do with random crap other than my husband's iPad and the remote control. It was just stuff in there. Just stuff. A bag of trash already and uh, so there are way over on the other end of the room some cookbooks that apparently I need to do a clean with me again. Okay, this is what I'm keeping. Other than the about five books that I actually have back in the case, I'm keeping this stack of books and this little stack of books. These are just basically my worship. This is what I read when I'm praying and worshiping. Um, just to get some motivation. These are my Christmas books. These actually go in my Christmas box and I bring these books out every year. Um, and I usually read one or two. Now, I didn't last year because of, you know, my whole eye issue, but I'm hoping I can read them again. So these are all Christmas books I need to get put in the Christmas box. And I am keeping these cookbooks. My Debbie Maycomer Cedar Cove cookbook, Betty Crocker, Weight Watchers. You have no idea what that means to me because I have had You've seen them. If you've been with me any amount of time, you know the amount of books that I have decluttered. And then, um, I don't remember what's in this one. Oh, this is stuff that I have to go through and get put away. Are you shocked? Because I am. This is what I kept out of that entire craziness that you just saw. And I'm telling you, I had no intention of doing it. But, and in addition to that, look what is coming up now. There's going to be my new coffee station. I don't know exactly where I'm going with this video. I'm sporadically all over the place. But I can't really show you everything that I did with that bookcase because it's in a video that's coming out, I think, on Friday. So look for that. But there's a quick look at it, it ended up being something completely different, but all cleaned out. I bet I could declutter maybe 25% more, but for now, that's what keep, I'm keeping. The rest I'm getting rid of, 
and there's bags of trash, bags of donate, bags going to the Goodwill. And when I say donate, we have a church, I work for a church, so a lot of things go there. Um, things that didn't even belong to us, lots of stuff. But this entire unit was just full of crap. And thank you for my motivation, because it is now out of this house. I moved it to there from over, oh, I'm trying to show you again. Forget it, I can't tell you. Because every time I try to tell you, I show you the bookcase, and I can't tell you that. I can't reveal that until the collaboration toward the end of the week. Okay, gonna go. I hope you all enjoyed this craziness. Get up and declutter something. You can do it. All right, so here's, my, again, here's my keepers. That's amazing. Love you guys.